look how beautifully close we are to Mercrisium. Look at the two white objects in the mare there. And underneath Mercrisium, you can see that white sphere with the three paths leaving off. We're descending now towards Mare Serenitatis. But first of all, look at that white patch underneath there. Look at the high, flat, plateau, elevated level with the entrances at the bottom from inside on the south side here. We can see under that patch of light, there's a mountain there, structure top, that's made to look natural. It is not natural. Mare Serenitatis. We're going over top of it now. We'll get another lower pan later on, and we'll see, of course, the other light at the bottom, light source, that is connected directly into the light source. Um, coming out is this pipe that's going straight through Mare Serenitatis. And you can see at the surface level of Mare Serenitatis, all these elevated levels, um, pipe-like objects passing themselves over top of one another, interconnecting with one another. Mare Imbrium now, the gray patch that you can see there over top. There's a darker gray patch, very symmetrical, is Plato Crater, for those who do not know, at the bottom, Mare Imbrium, going to Procellarum now, the bottom. We can see Sinus Iridum, the apple bite out of the side of the moon there. It's not hard to get to know uh, what craters and what mares are on the moon once you repeat it four or five times and you just you, you basically get sick of uh, Knowing what the names are and that's good sign. That means that you're knowing what the moon is <laughs> you're knowing the surfaces, but there's um, Always something to study on the moon. There's craters at the mares. They have all these anomalies, but I'm studying What I am seeing in general are all these things that NASA is not mentioning and it's fascinating to see what I'm capturing that has never been shown before, as along with many others, I'm sure. But just I can't see all the channels. There's, there are so many of us doing this now. Look at the top back there. You see, of course, they do look like mountains, don't they? And they do. It does look like snow, too. It could be an atmosphere, a haze. It could be clouds. Um, in space, it's you can't see color there. Now, here's the um, installation closest to Earth. Look at that. It's staggering. Light sources all around it. Yeah, in space, we can't see the color, right? And uh, say to yourself, the astronauts standing on the moon as they were looking back at Earth, if they did ever land, looking at Earth for the first time and saying, whoa, how come it's gray? Houston, Earth looks like the moon. You could be sure that was one of the first transmissions that got back to Houston somehow, and no matter which channel they were on, I am positive the channel was not an, a public channel or a, fre a frequency that someone was easily able to capture back in the 60s, that's for sure. They were fresh out of the war, when you think of it. We're talking 20, 30 years after. So the technology they had gathered, um, the secrets, I mean, it's staggering what was going on. And after the war, all these um, secret agencies, they continued on to, um, you know, explore in space, etc. All this was going on the time that... Uh, new fashions were coming out, the time that new singers were making magnificent albums and we're all preoccupied here on Earth. Um, you know, normal. We're Earthlings, right? I, I get it. But all this amazing stuff is happening in outer space and no one knows about it. So we're going to go see all these things ourselves, whether we understand them or not, and be fascinated all together with them and come up with a common, some common sense on what could be down there. Again, under that light source on the right there, look at that flat plateau, high elevated level, massive. Um, just an overall beautiful surface. I'll let you guys watch some of this. Enjoy, guys. Hey, there's some color footage coming up and uh, really clear, too. So it's just the blues, the greens, the purples, yellows, reds on the surface. It's a uh, beautiful surface, and it's much more authentic to see it in color, and it gives us a really good ideal, a more three-dimensional way of viewing the surface, which would be, 
it's common sense. I don't understand why the first moon viewing was not in color. I mean, okay, not in the 60s, of course, but I mean, in 69, sorry, there was color TV. Now, some had color TV. Somebody must have been looking at this, you know? I don't know. H how so many people could have remained quiet over s such a long period of time and why? It's every human's right on the surface of this earth to know a truth. So, I mean, what do you think all the belief systems are based on? They're based on reality. But the reality that we were taught is a deceptional reality. It's not reality, you know? So it's about time that the truth does come out. And uh, there is color down there on the moon. There's smoke or clouds. It's one or the other, guys. It has to be. And we can see it here. Look at the activity. The more I look at it, the more it's driving me nuts. All these lights down there, the paths, the cross, straight through the entire moon that you can see that strip, that white strip there. Okay, if it's not a path, why isn't NASA mentioning it? Why isn't anyone mentioning it? Why isn't any, aren't any scientists mentioning this? Because it's said that the white substance on the surface of the moon is ejecta. It's, okay, ejecta, it does exist. Ejecta is what's formed after a volcanic activity, etc., the uh, slow, continuous lava flow over a long period of time until it, um, you know, cools down and you'll get a very symmetrical layer that's very reflective back. Okay, so show me where on Earth one area that we see white reflective, reflecting back from um, a volcano. I'll tell you what, vo volcanic rock, when has it become white? I don't... I, I don't follow. I'm comparing facts about certain rocks on Earth and facts about certain rocks on the moon and in space. Why are they differing? Why are they different? I, that doesn't make any sense to me. I think 57 or 58. They sent to the dark side of the moon, uh, I think it was Sputnik 1, wasn't it? Um, that was able to capture the dark side of the moon. Now, can you imagine what they, when they realize that just on the moon, okay, there's an inhabited entire surface? They must, I mean, imagine? Can you imagine that? So, obviously, no, it probably was not going to make the headlines or the newspapers. I think this information. And all of this type of information, massive, massive, staggering, important information like this that would change everything in the way we think and, and function, basically every culture on the surface of Earth, this would change the world entirely and it would crash the markets. And as for the markets, they're always being observed and there's always someone protecting those markets, the stock market. It can't ever go down. It's what makes the system it's what make it makes the world go round let's say let's say it like that because that's basically aside from gravity is making the world go round is this damn stock market money the devil itself and it's ruling everything but markets is bringing in all commerce Everything that's industrial, everything that's work-related, every every creation, invention, uh, both government, residential, industrial, it's all based on that, on one thing, no matter how different all of those companies or inventions are, it's based on money, income. You know, the states, we know about the Federal Reserve, but, you know, a lot of people still don't know about all this stuff. And it's like, God, that's so boring, but it, but it really isn't. Hey, look at the trail of light here from the crater in the center right now of the moon that you see on the bottom there. All the lights going across. It, there's a path that goes to each light. Copernicus, just to the right there of Aristarchus crater that we can see on the top left of the edge of the moon with the white light. There are paths leading, leading and leaving to everywhere along with this massive installation. I just can't wrap my mind around it anymore. And every time I go to the moon, it seems to be the first area I fall onto. 
So, yeah, I sort of cut off from what I was saying, right? But uh, with the Federal Reserve and the money and make a long story short, if this was to be known, they'd have to redesign the entire system of how the world is going to function and an entire new belief system. And I don't want to say anything scary, but listen, at the back of my head, the only way that that could happen was if there was an, a catastrophic event and that all information is kept and these people hire rulers who go into a, a different area and hiding or safe, uh, safe haven in space and heaven on the moon, wherever. Okay, and come back after the world's been totally um, destroyed, the surface, and like no life is left on it. They'll wait till that settles down, come back, recreate, and plant new information. It sounds ridiculous, eh? But I believe that no, it's not something that happens every 10 years. It's something that has maybe happened once or maybe happens every so many thousands of years. Okay, because of the information. I mean, what organization or family or bloodline is so so strong on earth and has always been in both in history and today and in future coming the name what name do we all know there there are a couple out there there are a couple names out there you know i'm not going to mention them all you know but a lot of us most of us know you know rockefeller i'll mention one of them lots of us know a lot of the elite rulers, who, who's r running the world, who has all the money and take. So, guys, here's some color footage. Get a different view of all these high high walls that you're looking at right now. There's smoke, there's walls, there's lights. Guys, it's, it's endless activity. So, enjoy the rest of the footage. I'll have a campaign link up for the telescope that I'm trying to raise for this free channel. Bruce's big telescope goal to show it all. It, it's going to happen. We're going to make it happen. So enjoy the rest of the video, guys, and thanks so much for viewing.